just got done staying at Bridie and Carrie's place here in uh, Missouri, near Jefferson City. They told us to come down to this flowage because we can stay here for free. They gave us a little bit of money. And we got new clothes. Because we can't buy beer with it. Because we can't buy beer with it, so we bought clothes. <laughs> Show the people what you got. Look at this guy. Mo Kane. Mo Kane. <laughs> So one thing I wanted to point out to you guys is that this shirt has kitty cats nice. on both sides. Check out the kitties. Mokey! 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 Bit. I wouldn't like go swimming, swimming. If you ask me that question, I'll say it's a crime. Who just leaves a river here? Who does that? Not me. I think you know the kind. I'm speaking up. Mo Kane! Yeah. Show me love. Show me love. I'm so startled. So cool. That's a lot of wood, actually. And that's when I realized Bob was dead. <laughs> and I was like, Ron, I don't know how to say this, so I'm going to say it real fast. I killed Bob. Better. Hey, are there big big wasps in Missouri? Yeah. What are they called? <laughs> they're just called wasps. <laughs> but they're big, right? They're like flashlight size pretty much. Yeah, I think that's what we just encountered. We'll talk to you later. Bye. You don't brush your teeth, you're gonna get heart cancer. <laughs> that is a real thing. I never heard of that. That's really? Funny. That's like big thing. That's funny. Second. I'm gonna fly off. as if we snuck up on a wild Miller-like can. You can see it here in its natural environment. Crikey. Mm -mm. 
But yeah, yeah, don't go down there if you do walk lightly. Uh. What's going on with my face, Fox? I don't know, it gets pretty sketchy. Look at that, already. It gets really sketchy really quick. I do okay. That's the shit people die in. Take you on a little nature walk down here by the Missouri River. Actually, what kind of tracks are those? <laughs> look at those things. Look at these big stupid tracks. These look like, these would appear to be dinosaurs. Dinosaur tracks. Look at that. Pelican. Possible pelican tracks. Possible, possible. They go right into the water. Someone left the lawn chair thingy over here. Someone left the lawn chair thingy over here. Come on, everybody. It's a tree. It fell down. Whoa, wowzers. It fell down. The tree fell down. Check out those things. Those are called vines. Deal with it. They're over there. You could probably swing from some of them. But Not deal with it. But I mean, this water's pretty gross, so I wouldn't really want to go in there. Vines. Happens to the best of us. Mo Kane! Come on, everybody. Come on. Come on, everyone. Look, it left in the dust, silly. Come on. Here we have a lawn chair in its national environment, the Missouri River. The lawn chair's primary diet is Quaker Chewy Bars. You can see here, this was still in its stomach when we found it. It's a shame, she's a good old blue, you know? Good old blue lawn chair. You see, life is like a circle. Some of us have to die for some of us to live. Some of us do have to live. Come on guys, I'll show you how to get out of here. Let's just just over this way. It'll be a little bit tougher for the cameraman because he doesn't have any hands. Easier actually. <laughs> We're gonna have to go through this part pretty fast so we don't get bitten by spiders. There's a there's teaming with them. This is potentially dangerous because of they could fall. That tree is also potentially dangerous because of the massive red hornets found only in Missouri. They're the size of a cigarette lighter. And if they sting you, you'll throw up. This is my personal favorite part of the trip because of how green everything is. Even the sunlight's green. We're almost out. Our time in Mulcane was nearly at an end. However, every day closer to our show with Left Lane Cruiser and White Trash Blues Revival boosted our morale and furthered our adventurous spirits. The times we had in Mulcane will never be forgotten. Exploring the Missouri River, campfires, and the conservation warden who asked us to no longer park on the grass, reminding us that it was time to leave. The giant wasp that was the size of a cigarette lighter. The mud that almost claimed Ethan's life. Turtles sneaky enough to almost get pooped on. Riverside lawn chairs. Cheap beer. 
and boaters who probably had some idea we were spying on them. We hope to one day return to Mokane, as it was one of the best camping experiences I personally have ever had. Mokane will always be within our hearts and our memories. Our next stop was the Kickapoo State Park in Illinois, where we would stay for the next two days. 